Orange is in No Man's Land and it's a much shorter book. It's 113 pages, but it still looks it looks really, really good. My friend told me it was good. Um, it's set in World War Two, I think. I think. Um, or it might be just set in another country where a war's going on, but it says on the blurb, this was my chance. I slipped under the chain and bolted down the deserted street, running into No Man's Land as fast as my flip-flops would let me. And basically, if you don't know what No Man's Land is, it is. it's when there's two um, sides fighting in the war, and then there's the No Man's Land in between them, where none of them have conquered that. So they're basically, I think this is what it is, when two sides are shoot, are like attacking each other, but there's the gap bit in the middle. Um, Aisha lives in a battle-scarred building with her granny. Outside, a war is ripping the city apart, but Aisha doesn't even know why the two sides are fighting. Life gets even scarier when Granny's medicine runs out, so Aisha takes matters into her own hands, and in her search for a doctor makes a forbidden journey across no man's land. So it sounds really adventurous again. I like adventurous books. Um, so I'll probably read that one next, but I'm really excited to read it because it looks really, really good. Um, yeah, so that's my Elizabeth Laird haul. I've also got Kiss the Dust somewhere. I don't know where that is, and I've never actually read. I've read a bit of it, but not much. Um, but at my school library, they've got a lot of them, so I'll get either Jake's Tower or a little piece of ground or something else after, after these. But I'm really excited to read these. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. And I'll probably be doing a Jacqueline Wilson video because I had a request to do a Jacqueline Wilson book. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Um, I've got a lot of them. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!